Do you know these guys always come up with the most ridiculous hypercars with horsepower numbers that are just straight up insane? But this time they've created an electric motor that's somehow smaller than your head but makes 330 horsepower? Yep, you heard that right. 330 horsepower. This is the Koenigsegg Quark A motor, and it's an absolute game changer. Now before you go, all electric cars are boring. Let me tell you, this is not your average electric motor. Koenigsegg has managed to create a motor that's not only powerful, but also incredibly compact. They've made not one, but two of these motors, the Quark and the Terry. And when you combine these two motors with a single inverter, you get a whopping 660 horsepower that weighs less than 85 kilos. That's like having a power-packed bundle that you can carry around in your backpack. Now we know you're thinking, how did they manage to fit all that power into something so small? Well, that's the magic of Swedish engineering. Koenigsegg has managed to create an electric motor that's not only efficient but also incredibly powerful. The secret lies in the design of the motor itself. So how does it actually work? Before we dive into the juicy bits, let's take a stroll down memory lane and revisit the history of Koenigsegg. It all started in 1994 when a young Christian von Koenigsegg, who was only 22 years old, decided to pursue his lifelong dream of building the world's largest super sports car. Fast forward two years, and the first Koenigsegg creation was born. After two years of hard work, it was a hit. Drivers like Ricard Riedel, Pico Trollberg, and Kelly Rosenblatt were left mesmerized after test driving it. And of course, if you want to make a name for yourself in the automotive world, you've got to go big or go home, right? So Koenigsegg decided to showcase their creation at the Cannes Film Festival. Soon after, the Koenigsegg CC8S made its debut at some of the world's most prestigious motor shows, including Paris and Geneva. In 2002, Christian's dream finally came true when Koenigsegg's first proper production car was unveiled, and it was a game changer. The Koenigsegg CC8S's engine was certified by Guinness World Records as the most powerful engine in a mass produced car in the whole world. And if that wasn't impressive enough, the engine was based on a Ford V8, but Koenigsegg reworked it. Now back to Koenigsegg's tiny Quark e-motor. Quark is a marvel of engineering that's perfect for a wide range of applications such as aerospace, marine, and EV powertrains. To come up with this groundbreaking motor, the brilliant minds at Koenigsegg combined two fundamentally different motors into one unique design. So let's talk about magnetism, shall we? It's a crucial part of how electric motors work. Koenigsegg has ingeniously combined two methods to create the Quark e-motor. They call it Raxium Flux, which sounds made up because it is, but fear not. Raxium Flux is a fusion of radial and axial flux, two different ways electric motors function. Now, for those of you who don't know what that means, let me break it down. Picture this. You have coils that rotate between magnets, and depending on which way they go, the axial does it along the axis that's more perpendicular, and the radial does it running outside the weight. Radial flux motors are cheap to create and widely available in EVs, but they need more revs to produce peak power. On the other hand, axial flux motors offer more torque at low revs, but require lightweight and extremely durable materials to withstand a lot of stress. By combining these two motors, Koenigsegg has created a class-leading torque to power to RPM to weight matrix, making the Quark E motor a powerhouse in a tiny package. The Quark E motor weighs a mere 30 kilos, which is lighter than the motors Tesla used in its everyday models. To give you an idea, that's about the same weight as a giant otter, a double radiator, a bear cub, a garden bench, and a pair of speakers. Now, that's impressive. So what kind of power does the Quark motor generate, you ask? Well, the Quark produces an astounding 335 horsepower and 443 pound-feet of torque. However, it's good to keep in mind that the peak power lasts only for about 20 seconds before dropping to 134 horsepower and 184 pound-feet of torque. But still, that's more than enough power for most applications. According to Andra Shekeli, who's the e-motor development lead at Koenigsegg, this motor is made of some seriously cool stuff. 
The shaft is made of 300 Mondaler steel that's used in motorsport and aerospace, which is a fancy way of saying it's really strong and really light. And they've used direct cooling, which is not only super efficient, but also makes the whole thing more compact. The rotor is made of Koenigsegg's carbon fiber technology, which makes it lightweight and powerful. In fact, the quark is so light and small that it's perfect for all kinds of applications. So, how much power are we talking about here? Well, the quark puts out 330 brake horsepower and 443 newton meters of torque. That's pretty impressive, right? But how does it compare to, say, Tesla? The Plaid model boasts a whopping 1,006 brake horsepower and just over 1,000 pound-feet of torque. Now, I know we shouldn't compare apples to oranges or combustion engines to electric motors, but it does give you some perspective. But let's get back to the quark. Koenigsegg is no stranger to making things lightweight, and they've used their expertise to make the quark super efficient. They even used air core technology on the rotor, which is the same stuff they use in carbon fiber wheels, steering wheels, and seats. And they're not afraid to use carbon fiber anywhere they can. Have you seen the Jesco's rear wheels? They weigh just 8.4 kilograms each. That's insane. So what's the verdict? The Quark is a tiny powerhouse that's perfect for all kinds of applications. And while Tesla might have more power, the Quark holds its own against the competition with its compact size and solid power delivery. The Quark is a great option for electric vehicles, drones, and all sorts of other things. And let's not forget that the Quark is made by Koenigsegg, a company that knows a thing or two about making high-performance machines. They've taken their expertise in lightweight design and applied it to the Quark, resulting in a motor that's small, light, and incredibly powerful. So, where exactly will the Quark be used? Well, it's not your typical full EV approach like Tesla's. Instead, the Quark has been designed to work in tandem with an internal combustion engine, and not just any engine, but the Koenigsegg Amara's TFG engine, which uses their super cool camless free valve technology. Now, if you're familiar with Koenigsegg, you know they like to do things a little bit differently than everyone else, from their crazy horsepower to their wild doors. They're always pushing the boundaries, and the TFG engine is no exception. It's a relatively small two-liter twin-turbocharged three-cylinder powertrain, but don't let that fool you. That's just mind-boggling. And the quirky motor is the key to making all of this work together like a tiny little Swedish tag team. The idea is that the e-motor will handle the low-down grunt for instant acceleration, while the combustion engine kicks in for the top-end punch. And according to Koenigsegg, all of this means that the Amara will effortlessly surge to a top speed of 248 miles an hour. But Koenigsegg isn't stopping there. Along with the Quark, they've also announced the Terry, which will find its way into completely electric models. So, what does all of this mean for the future of cars? Well, it means that Koenigsegg is pushing the boundaries once again and paving the way for a new generation of cars. With the Quark and Terry, they're able to combine the best of both worlds. The instant acceleration of an electric motor and the top-end punch of a combustion engine. And with the Gamera plug-in hybrid model and other future VHVs, we can only imagine what they'll come up with next.